boys and girls cats and squirrels today i'm back playing modern warfare 3 which this is a game i swore not to buy in the first place but i've ended up enjoying almost as much as i enjoyed cold war except for the fact that the zombies was absolutely atrocious in this game but as you can see the open beta is coming soon through this cod hq launcher so i can't wait we're hyped the liberty falls trailer just dropped so let's talk some cod zombies and play a little bit of multiplayer which you know it's not necessarily my thing but i mean if we look at the camo grind you'll see that um well i can't really show it there more so i can show it here uh i have every single freaking gun interstellar orion everything so yeah i'm a little bit of a sweat i don't have borealis or bio but whatever and yeah uh if you enjoy leave a like sub and comment down below it's much appreciated it makes you a goat and yeah let's just sweat a little um late night vibes you know just chilling uh and i need to record for tomorrow essentially but today we had the liberty falls trailer come out or not trailer i can't call it a trailer that would be lying to you guys because it's actually a cutscene. it's not a trailer let me quick get my foot down from underneath my freaking what the heck are you doing uh whatever but yeah like i said it would be lying to tell you guys it was the like an in-game cinematic or anything because it was very much so cgi definitely nothing that we're going to be seeing in game well i mean we could see it in game but like not like graphical quality that we're going to see in game actually but it teased richtofen you know being as much of a key part as we hoped he ever could be in black ops 6 jeez that guy just exploded himself or something i want to know what the heck happened to you Ooh, get beamed this is goaded uh yeah and then other than that we saw that maxis was in fact a ball you could say i believe that she was inside the ball that you know everyone calls sophia that seems to be more like an mpd almost the one that we saw in forsaken that eddie presumably sent to omega to help them capture the forsaken and you know then omega was taken down by requiem and eddie with his project janus desires took away all threats to project janus seeing as that's what the strike team ended up being now that he you know gave them all the info that he did and yeah Ooh, sheesh popping a little and i'm dead again but yeah so he he kind of set this all up for project janice and we still don't even know what that is project janice is essentially just classified cia documents at this point as far as we know bro you are the weirdest play al player alive like i hope you had a uav because like that almost a little sus bro honestly hackers don't seem as bad as they were at one point in time in this game so i'm not not actually concerned holy yeah so we we got a lot of key important things for you know liberty falls but we didn't get any confirmation on a set crew or not a set crew we didn't get any confirmation on you know really if sam is supposed to be the bad guy in this story or not and we didn't get a lot of answers to the questions that we have but that's honestly a really good thing in my opinion it lets us speculate up to the game's release and then with the release we'll get our questions at least somewhat answered get beamed and you know they can no longer worry about having to set stuff up because all the stakes and everything they've already set up i'm dead but yeah we're just 
waiting for Black Ops 6 to come out now. Doing tier lists and all that crap. Playing Durizen Drek. Doing the Easter eggs of older games. And overall, just chilling. Because this seems to be the most hyped, marketed, and just overall endorsed Call of Duty ever, in my opinion. And that is one of the coolest things to me because this is my first, like, prayer COD that I've ever been, like, a part of at launch. Uh, Call of Duty Cold War was my first Call of Duty. And, you know, the story about me getting to play that game actually is a story for another day. But it, you know... It was a game I learned to love over time due to just zombies and multiplayer being so good. And the Treyarch style just was still implemented in the game, even though it wasn't perfect. And since then, all I've wanted is another Cold War-esque game. And that's what it seems like we're getting. And I know that's an unpopular opinion that, oh, we need another Cold War-esque game. Like, a lot of people didn't like the game. But I don't care. That's probably my favorite game of all time just based on my nostalgia and vibes because it was my first cod game and you can clown me all you want but your favorite cod game is probably one of the first ones you played too so i don't think you can am i saying that's the best cod game of all time no i i would be a fool to say that cod bo3 wasn't the greatest um at least zombies game of all time but arguably it was the greatest game of all time in terms of call of duty and you know okay hi hi what the heck what is that i put a new 4g on the jeep but yeah just all in all it, we're looking up to a great year of call of duty probably the best in a long time since at the bare minimum cold war like you can say what you want about cold war but the community around cold war genuinely was phenomenal i don't know if many you know not as many people as before were in it but it built a such a strong community of people that actually cared about call of duty and zombies and like just gaming in general Holy crap, on dog water. That it's the reason why I enjoy the game so much. And I can't wait for this, you know, new Black Ops game. You know, seeing as I just played the MW3, like, final mission. Retrospectively, I look back at the game mode. And the only reason I think it actually was bad was because it didn't continue the content cycle like it started with. The connection was poor. Thank you. Give me better ping next time. But all in all, a good camel grind, good multiplayer, good zombies, good campaign. That's what it looks like it's going to be. And I can't wait. Black Ops 6 is going to be great. Anyone that says otherwise, they're just fiending for H2M. And uh, I feel bad for you. But at the same time, screw off. Enjoy Call of Duty cold war 2 and when you do leave a like sub and comment down below it's much appreciated it makes you a goat thanks so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one deuces